Hello and welcome to the 40th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at navbar text. We'll be using the source code from the 38th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a navbar setup. Bootstrap provides a way to include just plain text inside a navbar. To implement this, it's extremely simple. You may be asking why you want to do this. You may want to just convey some information to the user, whereas using other traditional methods like a button is generally used if you want the user to be able to click it and to do something. Maybe take the user to a different part of the website, but text is just plain and you don't want it to do anything at all. Like I said, it's simple to implement. Let's just open up our project in a text editor. And so if we scroll down, what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is simply implement this you can pretty much put it wherever you want. So I'm just going to zoom in. I'm not going to put it here. I'm just going to just put it outside. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to put it outside. I'm going to put it within the collapse part. The reason I'm going to put it within the collapse part is so it collapses when the browser is resized or if you're viewing it on a mobile device. So let's just pop. Oh, what the happened there? Oh, I know what happened. <laughs> Actually, deleted this angle bracket. So we'll put it at the start. And what we're going to do is put a p tag class of navbar dash text. Yes, I know it's about nav wrong. And this is all built in, so we don't need to implement any CSS for this. But this is plain text. And if we save it, and if we run this in our web browser index.html there we go we have just plain text obviously these are links this is a drop down this is a brand where you can put a brand image search box another drop down but this is just plain old text and if you click it nothing happens and if I start resizing it it goes down into the collapsible menu and that and the reason for that is because we put it inside basically the div which is the collapsible menu if you were to put it outside, then well, it wouldn't collapse. So as an extra task, just check that out, put it in different places, and just see how it reacts and see what the positioning is like. The next tutorial will cover navbar fixed positioning. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at somnarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, visit somnarslearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.